Okay. So... That's some really, really bad news that's completely on me. I, um... My recording software screwed up the entirety of the X-18 facility. It's literally one-third of the serene. It's like this top corner is like from here to about here or so. All this is missing. And I mean it looks kind of bad. And I have no saves prior to that. So I fixed the video problem, but I don't know, that's like a couple hours of gameplay. I'm not about to make a new playthrough and go all the way back through the game just to get X-18 footage. That would be kind of um, hard. Plus I would have to start all over and I've already done that. It's it's pretty bad and pretty annoying, um, and it makes for some pretty bad com content too. But that's what happened. That's why there's such a big cut. That's why the entirety of the X18 is not here. It's not in the playthrough. It's um, I still have the footage. I still have the footage and. I guess I could upload it, but it's gonna be like it's gonna be like one third scale. So you know, if I get, I don't really want to upload it because it kind of sucks, and it's like a thirty minute long video of one-quarter footage. So... If, um... So what I'm gonna do is... You know... If people really want to see it... I have it, and I can upload it. It's not gonna look all that good. And... The, what will happen is, you know, if I can get, like, comments of people who actually, like, want to see it and care, and, you know, um, the best way for that would be if, let's say, this video can get 20 likes, then I would definitely do it, because it shows that people, like, they actually want to see it regardless of the fact that it's like one-third scale. But it's... <sighs> Seriously? But it's pretty bad. So... Yeah. Why are shadows going that way if the light should be coming from that way? Because that way should be... So, hmm, that's what happened to the X-18. But to do a, um, a recap on everything that's happened while this is happening, I might as well explain what did happen is I got all the documents. So whenever you go into the X-18 place, they want you to get all these documents. And, or the barkeep does. Here. Where is it? Um, you have to get the PC, the old PC information, you have to get a, a document for the Sin Stalkers, and then you have to get all the documents for the barkeep. And if you get all the all the bo all the documents for the barkeep, it triggers a special cutscene at the bar next time you go there, so we'll be able to see that. 
if it's still if it's still in the game and it still plays out the same way that it used to, like back in 3.3. Um, and I got I got a handful of artifacts. I got another I got another one of these. I got um, there was a pseudo giant down there. I got I got the eye. So that that's actually in the video of me fighting a pseudo giant. Although it's not real eventful. I actually got a sparkler. Which is pretty cool, but only three endurance, you know. But now that the stats roundabout, that's like I don't know how much three endurance in comparison to the old system is. I got I got a whole bunch more stone flowers. I got this thing which is entirely useless. It's a it's a byproduct, it's you know, half produced artifact. There's there's a there's a green there's a blue, and I think there's a red. I just know of the green and blues, definitely. I got a poultry guy's brain, which I think I did down there. Did I do that up here or down there? I can't remember now. Hmm. Um. I got. I fought several more of these guys. I got. You know, all the documents and everything. And it is mostly just me running around trying to remember where all the stuff was from 3.3. In case you're wondering why everything ain't shaking and whatnot, this is one of there's actually different types of emissions. This is a emission right now. This is a different kind of one. And um where it lightnings, rather than the big storm coming through and like washing through everything, this one's lightning. And it, if you step out into lightning, it screws your mind up in like a heartbeat. You lose a. It sends it sends your sidebar like to zero, real fast. And I'm pretty sure you can get struck by lightning and die one hit or something like that, but I've never never had it. This this guy kind of confused me at first because I didn't know there were multiple types of emissions. I think it's just about over. Or if the sky goes back to normal, that means it's just about over. But yeah, that's what happened, and that, that kind of sucks, but, you know, if you if there's people out there that really want to see it, then 20, maybe 15 likes will definitely show. Or a whole bunch of comments. Because if people want to see it that bad, then totally. See, he refers to this one as a Psy Fuel. Psy, um, Psy Storm. So it's different from a, uh, a blowout. With, with that in mind, I mean, that would actually be talking about the emissions. I think that would be kind of interesting if there were multiple types of emissions. Since we got the blowout, we got the Psy Storm. Would it, the emission be considered a different kind of storm? Or are they both emissions and they're just calling them different names? Either way, that's pretty cool. Actually, now that, that actually kind of makes some sense. It's interesting. But, yeah bad news screw up on my part um, because I was messing around with the resolution and that's why that happened I was trying to um, make it a little bit better it really sucks that water still sucks Yeah, not not the usual start. Not not a start I would like to um have. I really, really, really hope that doesn't happen again. And because of it, I'm going to um I'm doing what I should have done a long, long time ago. Is I have a start and an end save file. So at the start of 
me video capturing, I have a save file, and then at the end of it, I have one. So if I need to go back and refilm everything over again, I got a save to go back to. And that's really what I should have done first time around, and I didn't. And it kind of screwed me over. Yeah. The X-18 can be really hard, just because it's so confusing and so hard to navigate your first time through without seeing it. Wow, it went way, way out there. Is it, is it actually past it? Yes. Okay, well that sucks. New vehicle. On foot. Through a rather nice sized map. Oh, and by the way, overcumbered. This will help with that. No, we don't need to sprint right now. Or we're going to get more overcumbered because I just can't pass up artifacts. I gotta grab them. I think I can use that though. Another one. I don't know why I pulled the artifact detector out because it doesn't work because I never upgraded. bunch of stuff in the trunk that I really don't care about in case I lose this vehicle. And I don't have to worry about losing anything good with it. You know what, on the brakes it still wants to fly to the... Oof. Those vehicles don't flip over so easily now. Um, steering's a little hard. It is, but a little trick to uh, vehicles is getting a lot of speed and then just turning the engine off and letting it coax to wherever you're going saves lots of gas. I just ran over an artifact. For a second there, how he was sitting there, I thought he was gonna shoot me. Usually, he doesn't spot you after you go by the first time. But now we gotta do the annoying process of where you gotta sprint all the way back through this place to go talk to the Sin Stalkers. Should have dropped off a few more things since I'm still at 40 
Wait, I don't have near enough endurance on me to go through anything. Have I got any level up points? Nope. I really don't know how these points are assigned. I'm experienced now. I mean, I got I got one point, and then they gave me two points at one time. And I don't really know what to fit my next bunch of points into. Do I go for endurance? Do I go for bartering? Do I go for survival? Shooting's not a big thing. I don't have a problem with shooting. Survival increases my chances of finding stash maps as well as finding, uh, or as well as increasing my overall health points. I don't find the health to be too much of a problem as long as I just play it safe. Endurance can be pretty annoying sometimes, as I am dem demonstrating. And I mean, always having more weight is always a plus. Plus, if I have more weight, I can carry more things and I can sell more things. But then bartering allows me to, to buy stuff cheaper. It doesn't... it doesn't allow me to sell stuff cheaper, it just allows me to buy stuff cheaper. Or sell stuff for more, it just allows me to buy stuff cheaper. Or at least that's the way I understand it. And then... And 3.3 bandits would sometimes camp right there. But be... What you call it? I think bartering should slightly increase things that you can... The price of things that you sell. Because that would be a big hand. Because right now, stuff sells for so little. And it buys for so much. And does it lower the price of upgrades? I mean, I guess bartering would be a little bit overpowered if it lowered the price of upgrades and repair costs, as well as increased how much you can sell stuff for. I mean, wouldn't you grab it every time if that's what it does? Does it move now? It does. That's creepy. It's very creepy now. I'm not going to cut out me walking all the way there because I'm talking. But I'm probably going to cut out me walking back. So that's a long walk.
kind of want to go back to the bar. But you know what? I can do it in the court, and I can go through the court and hit the, um... Not the trader, because he's too cheap. I'll hit the upgrade guy on the way through the cordon, and then I can get to the factory. Yeah. And then on the on the way back to the bar. Well, they're gonna want me to come back to Dark Scope, aren't they? Well, just have to figure it out. I guess I gotta go do what these guys want. It's gonna be a while before I can get to the bar and sell all my junk. Because I'm not selling it to Skogorovich because he sucks. And he's purposely built to give you stuff for low prices, or give you stuff for high prices and let you sell him stuff for low prices. He buys this stuff for more than it's worth. It's only supposed to be 300. He takes it for 315. Definite selling. And people buy PDAs now. Thank goodness. I hated those things, having to carry them around. Just gonna sell them those things to get them off of me because that's just way too much weight. And thus begins the long trip back home. Okay, so now that we're finally out of there, we're gonna put a few more things in the trunk because I don't wanna carry them around. Like, let's say the grenades. Um, that gets me under the 40 weight. Let's put a whole bunch of these bullets in there. That really doesn't reduce the weight a whole lot, but you know, whatever. I really don't need to be carrying that many. I'm afraid to click on that because the last time I clicked on it, my game crashed. Get out of here. We'll be able to hit those stash maps on the way out, that'll be nice. Out of the way! Nope, he didn't move. I hit one. All the way. I have yet to pick up Bloodsucker Tentacles. Wow, this shakiness is kind of obnoxious. I mean, it's always been there. So, no real reason to complain about it. I don't want to drive back to this place a little bit faster than this because they'll start taking shots at me. And we gotta look up and see where those stashes were. Alright, one right in front of me.
case you're wondering why I don't why I don't just take everything, I sometimes like to leave stuff that way I can go back and find that stash again in case I need it for an emergency or something like that. That's a good shotgun, but I'm not a big fan of shotguns in Stalker. Or at least not late game. chunk. And yeah, we are going to go back for those guys. I'm not going to let them get away. I don't know what the heck you do with a hand radio. Like, what are you going to do with it? I'm going to take it, just in case. Somebody trying to sneak up on me. Did you hear him? There he is. What a mercenary all the way out here. Wow, I stirred up the whole nest. Luckily, I have more of these bullets than I know what to do with. What was that guy doing out here? Just a random merc. I'm not friends with mercs, so I, don't, I was not worried about shooting him. You, you can't be friends with mercs. Oh, the flesh have a high eye drop rate. Every single one of them. It's a good thing Skorovich wants those. Jerks, about to beat me at my own game. He's depressed. One more? Not in the tower. Right there. Not anymore. Here's another drivable vehicle, that's nice. Don't really want to hide behind a vehicle that we can drive. Mercs carry good guns. Quick save. Oh, he knows where I am. I don't know where he is, though. I haven't got a clue. Oh, 
Oh, I just saw him. Where'd he go? He's in the building. Got him. Just take their guns and hope he takes them for some real money. If he doesn't, then... Well, that sucks. We're not gonna put these in there. I'm just gonna carry them. No big deal, it's not that far. Ukraine strength. We get it from our Russian ancestors. Jenna said that now if I have any Ukrainians in chat, they're gonna be like, oh I just barely missed that. They're gonna be like, we're not we're not related to Russians in the slightest or something like that. <laughs> 